Hey guys, um, welcome back to some magical story time. The show where I come on and read one of my own words. And we're returning to the tales from Animalia for this episode. For the fourth and final part of their genesis. That would be the first human liaison. Here we go. It was a very busy day in the primary nation. As the Animalians were bustling about Lyondon. going from building to building doing their jobs. While they were doing this, a young elephant named Alphias Trompton was the new no, was new to the world of work, caught sight of a young humanoid man walking around looking hopelessly lost. He stopped to talk to him. Excuse me, sir. I couldn't help but notice you looking so lost. Is there anything I can do to help? he asked. Yes, there is. Can you tell me where I am? replied the man. I certainly can, sir. You are in Lyondon, primary nation, the capital of Animalia, replied Alphaeus. The man was shocked as he cottoned on to the fact he had struck up a conversation with a talking elephant and that he'd somehow found his way to the fabled continent of Animalia. What's your name, Mr. Elephant? He asked. Please, sir. Mr. Elephant is my father. The name's Alphaeus Trump Trumpton, replied Alphaeus holding out his hand. The man took it and shook. It's nice to meet you, Alphaeus Trump Trumpton. My name's Barnsley. Ben Barnsley, he told him. Alphaeus smiled. Likewise, Ben. No one of your race has ever come here before, he assured him. Ben wasn't in the least bit surprised to learn this. That's not surprising, Alphaeus. Not many humans have heard of Animalia. It doesn't appear on our map on our map of the world, replied Ben. That's because it is hidden from the prying eyes by our own special brand of magic. The same sort that in that evolved all Animalians with the ability to talk and walk upright, replied Alphaeus. Even the aquatic animals are humanoid? Asked Ben. Yes, Ben. Even the sea life here is humanoid. Alphaeus told him. Ben realised that Alphaeus must have been on his way to work when he spotted him. So looked to him apologetically. Looks like I stopped you on your way to work, he said. Don't worry about that, Ben. I hold a business degree. And you just inspired me to open a human liaison business and recruit a team of creatures to help me run it, replied Alphaeus. He then walked to the building that had offices to let. This is where I hope to set up my business. Let's go inside, he said. And they entered. Ben noticed a sign stating the price of office rental. I don't think you can afford that, Alphaeus, he told him. Alphaeus brought out his wallet and produced a large stack of golden coins that resembled pieces of steak and counted out 2,000 of them. 2,000 gold stakes? No problem. No, not a problem. He said as he spoke to the landlord, crocodile named Clyde Snapperson, about renting the offices for his business. Clyde took the 2,000 gold stakes and signed the deeds over to Alphaeus, telling him he'd paid enough to purchase the building from him, shaking hands with him and Ben as he handed Alphaeus uh, Alphaeus's receipt and left, wishing him good luck with his human liaison company. 
With that, then help thou fires to fully deck out the offices with carpets, wallpaper, fur and furniture. All for 15,000 gold stakes. 32 silver tuners and 16 bronze buns. Leaving him with just enough cash to pay a small staff of about 20, which he happily went about doing with Ben's help, hiring two dogs, three cats, five monkeys, ten birds and two aquatic animals as his first employees. This will be something to t this will be something to tell Adam," said Ben. "Who is Adam?" "Who is Adam?" asked one of the birds. "A peregrine falcon named Lucy Clawsdale." "Adam's my son, Lucy. He's only one, but hopefully he'll get in here some day," replied Ben. At that moment, King Leo, a lordly lion, entered to see the place for himself, and was very impressed. He also welcomed Ben warmly to Animalia, recognising him as the first human ever to visit their fair land. He then approved of the business after learning what it was set up to do, and what it was already doing, just having help from Ben. After all the excitement, Ben thanked everyone for their kind welcome, and said he had to get back to... It. He had to get, that should be, get back to London to care for his wife and son, and disappeared faster than he appeared. So, uh, that is it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you did, yes or no, uh, thanks for watching and have us a magical time.